manual work and automation technology combined. Here, 300 million balcony and garden plants plus vegetables for all of Europe are produced. This is Emsflower, and the company has the largest greenhouse in Europe, which is larger than 80 football fields. Five factors led to the company's success. The first reason, ecology. Cecilia Schwemmen is our tour guide. Biking around the 1.4 kilometer long greenhouse is the healthiest and most practical way for most of the company's 400 employees to get around. This week, they're harvesting 120 tons of tomatoes. The new blossoms need to be pollinated so more tomatoes will grow. Insects do some of the most vital work. We have several hundred thousand bumblebees here. They're very important employees. Ladybugs help too, by eating harmful aphids. Other beneficial insects such as lacewing larvae are also in action. Together they reduce the need for chemical insecticides. Reason number two, automation. Robots like this can plant 15,000 cuttings per hour. It's the only way to replant entire halls with asters. One invention that was used here for the first time is trays like these. These six packs of lavender will be delivered to discount supermarkets. Automated vehicles pick up the merchandise. Reason number three, location. The greenhouses are located in the middle of Europe in Germany, close to the Dutch border. Company boss Tom Kuipers has built new greenhouses all around the company headquarters, and for him, it was the right decision. We're located next to the highway and have great north-south and east-west connections. We can reach anywhere in Europe quickly. That's a huge advantage for us. These seedlings were delivered from the company's branch in Ethiopia, near the capital Addis Ababa. The Emsflower greenhouse there employs some 600 Ethiopian workers to cultivate young plants. Reason number four, family. Today the grandchildren are in charge. The company was founded in 1954 by Jan Kuipers. It was not until the 1990s that it became an industry leader. Now, Tom Kuipers and his siblings tend to the family business. He is well versed in all the latest technical innovations, but still strongly believes in a family business model. If you want to do something new, it won't bring you any return for five or ten years. Companies listed on the stock market want to see profits immediately. Family businesses just want to see that they'll be around in ten or fifteen years. Reason number five, resources. Water for irrigation and heat for the plants in winter. Greenhouse businesses normally consume a lot of both. But here, things are more efficient. Solar panels are mounted on the roofs, and the excess electricity generated is fed back into the electrical grid every day. The greenhouses are heated with wood waste and not gas. Ecologically, it's the better choice and much cheaper than what many other greenhouses use. The heating also supplies a wood-fired power plant. More than is needed for the greenhouse, so the excess is fed back into the network. We want to heat in a climate-neutral way. We produce luxury products, and you have to be able to buy them with a clear conscience. So I think we have to move away from fossil fuels. Rainwater from the roofs of the 90-hectare facility is collected in basins like these and fed into an irrigation system. Of course it costs something, but it's also healthier for the flowers. Rainwater doesn't contain as much lime, and that's the other great benefit. Plants love rainwater. Fertilizer is added to these basins for each type of plant. 
According to the company, they are self-sufficient when it comes to water because the floors are sealed and the water that comes from above is collected below and recycled. All in all, the main reason why the company has been able to grow so dramatically is its economical use of both money and resources.